Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We're going to go and check out some of the some of the meats, some of the produce. Maybe try and find a few deals here before Memorial Day. It is Memorial Day weekend week. So we have a few days before the big weekend before all of the grill outs. Also, today is May 23rd, 2023. We are rounding up the end of the month here. So getting close. Uh, hopefully we can find some good sales here at Sam's. Let's get to it. Okay, so bonus to today's video, me and Jessica are gonna have a grill out toward the uh, middle of this video here. We've already got our chicken, got some asparagus. I needed to get a thermometer, but all they have is this $70 digital thermometer. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles, it's pretty cool. You can uh, check it from your phone while you're sitting inside. But yeah, I just want a regular thermometer for like five or 10 bucks. I, I, I really don't know how much they are, but uh, yeah. That's, that's a little much for me. I'll just wait till the chicken starts to get dark and cut it open and see what I think. So the guy working here told me that it's a really awesome thermometer. He bought it. He works here, so he probably got a little bit of a discount. $70 for something like that I feel is a little ridiculous, but it's pretty cool that you can just put it in there and it has like an around setting. It's all the bells and whistles, but $70, it's a bit much. So if you're enjoying our content, don't forget to subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really helps spread the, the channel out to the masses. We really appreciate it. Um, I love Sam's Club. This place is awesome. We're going to go check out the meat here. Check out some items that might be on your list to grill out this weekend. Here's an interesting deal on these Prime Steak Burgers. We're always getting comments on these. Um, they are $4.98 a pound. Uh, but they have a sale going on three dollars off per package, which will come off at the register Interesting idea. These are delicious So if you're wanting to do some chicken wings, uh, their regular price is two dollars and 48 cents. That's about as cheap as they go I think um, No sales on chicken. It looks like but some okay prices all considering you do get a lot of them here You do have to buy a little bit in bulk when you come at Sam's Club, but if you're having a big grill out It's uh, understandable. Look at this 98 cents a pound still somebody said that their chicken drumsticks went up at their sam's clubs at ours still 98 cents a pound now we bought ours at meyer for 79 cents a pound which was amazing that was a great deal they do have their um thighs here for a dollar 28 a pound and if you don't like the skin on the thighs here they do have the skinless uh it's a little bit more 298 a pound but when you look at some of the prices in some of the other grocery stores, this really isn't too bad because a lot of boneless, skinless chicken thighs are anywhere between $3.49 and $5 a pound. I guess one nice thing is I haven't really seen any price increases here on the meat as of yet, but they have the uh, chicken, chicken breast here, which are really good. We like uh, Members Mark chicken breast, $2.98 a pound. And then they also have their George, George's Farmer's Market uh, antibiotic-free uh, Farmer's Market and chicken breast here. $3.88 a pound, but a lot of viewers on our channel swear by this. They say it's the best chicken you've ever had. If you want to be the star of the show this holiday weekend, maybe you're not hosting the grill out, but you want to bring something for your family or friends that are working hard to provide food for you. Look at this. Got a little... Uh, Capri salad here with balsamic dressing. Got the mozzarella, potatoes, a little bit of spinach in there. That looks pretty awesome. So they do have their pork spare ribs here. Fresh, never frozen, case price available, $2.28 a pound. Guys, these are awesome, great on the grill. Uh, what's even better on the grill though, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's definitely worth it, $2.78 a pound for their pork baby back ribs. Now you gotta get a two pack. So depending on how much you're grilling this weekend or, or if you just get one and then put one in the freezer, that's what we do, 278 a pound. These are great. Pairs very nicely with Montgomery Inn uh, barbecue sauce or Stubbs. I know we get a lot of comments on Stubbs barbecue sauce. Great on ribs. Say fish is your thing here. They got their tilapia back in. Kind of surprised to see this. I haven't seen this in a while. They are 
$6.48 a pound, but here's the winner right here. Got the cod fillets. Uh, they are $8.98 a pound, but again, we've gotten a lot of good comments on these. I got some fresh tuna steaks right here. See how much these are. Same price, $10.98 a pound. So I'm not really a fan of sockeye salmon, but they do have a $7 off per package of the sockeye salmon here. That's a great deal. Uh, so this is $40.25, so you would pay $33.25 for this right here. Atlantic salmon is what I like. They do have it $9.98 a pound, which is about the same or cheaper than anywhere right now. Salmon's really been going up in price. Uh, the skinless here on the bottom, $11.48 a pound. But let me say something. I like having the skin on it. I feel like it, it makes it cook more even, right? Because if you cook it right, it, it'll come right off the bottom. It'll come right off the top of the skin anyway, right? You know, so as long as you cook it at an even temperature, what I do is like if I have about, I don't know, about maybe a third of this, I put it on 425 in the oven and then I'll cook it for 20 minutes, 425 at 20 minutes. And this will come right off the top of the skin with your fork. You won't even have to do anything. If steaks are your thing, they do have their strip steak. Uh, no price on here, but I do know it's $10.99 a pound. Let's see. Yep, or $10.98 a pound. $10.98 a pound still, but you get $8 off per package. So here's one for right about $40. So you get it for $32. Great deal. Even if you're not uh, preparing for a big cookout this weekend, now is the time to come and get some of these sales guys and the meat quality of the steaks here at sam's club are fantastic oh they also have the ribeyes on this deal as well now the price actually came down these went up to 14.98 a pound like less than a month ago now 12.98 a pound that is up from a couple months ago being 10.98 a pound so it's gone up quite a bit but you get that eight dollars off per package here are some more of the strip steaks. And down here, I noticed that the chuck roast went up. Okay, now these were $5.28. We saw them go up to $5.48 a pound and now $5.68 a pound. So prices keep going up on some of this stuff. And I assume here, you know, if you find a good deal on some different meats, it might be a good time to stock up and uh, throw some in your freezer because we're expecting meat here in the next month or so to skyrocket in price. So above me here, I won't show them in the video, but I like watching the butchers in the background. There's a window above me here where they're all working really hard. $3.98 a pound on their hamburger. Not the best price, but I will say the quality here, the quality is really good. Uh, you do have to buy, it's pretty much five pound packages. They're usually right around $20. Some of them you can find a little cheaper here. But you know what? And I always get this question, which hamburger do you like better, Costco or Sam's? I like Costco better but this is a close second. If you want some of the higher lean meats or organic, well, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but I gotta say, that's not really too bad of a deal here. This is 93% lean, 4.48 a pound. This is three pounds total, 13.44 for these. The organic here, not that much more, 4.98 a pound. Now we saw this stuff at Whole Foods, same thing. For ridiculous prices uh, but I mean you know to get all three of these for $15 for the organic ground beef grass-fed it's 85% lean but I know a lot of people look for the uh, the grass-fed beef so Sam's Club has it and I feel it's an okay it's a fair price not really covering uh, shelf space or empty shelves today but I gotta say Sam's Club is uh, at least ours is very low on deli meats and cheeses and I'll tell you what, you want to get a lot of their breads, a lot of their fresh baked breads, you better get here pretty early because the last few times I've come here, it's been like uh, late morning, they're out. Well, not out, but pretty close. Kind of seeing this in my peripheral vision, I, you know, I mean, I know people are buying up a lot of this stuff for the holiday coming up, but this is a bit ridiculous. I have not seen the desserts and bakery items this low maybe ever at sam's club so i know the holidays coming up though that could be a part of it at least they got their big huge apple pies in uh 1098 
Usually on this, usually during the week of a sale or a holiday, these will get down to nine dollars. So I don't know, still ten ninety eight. So I, I do feel like that's still an okay price, though. I mean, some of the best apple pie ever. But yeah, look at that. That's crazy. So they do have their andouille sausages back in uh, the kielbasa. Kielbasa, fourteen ninety eight for these. You get. 12 of them. I've never tried this version. Let me know down in the comments if you've had these and if they're any good. $15 seems a bit much, but you know, if they're really good, might be worth it. I gotta say, our Sam's Club is really getting hit here. Usually they have this Parmesan packed and stacked. They got one left again. Let me say that this probably has a lot to do with the holiday coming up. Sorry about the beeping, but they're moving their forklift. Uh, I will say this right here. These olives right here, this is some of the best olive medley I've ever had in my life. It is $7.98. Uh, they are delicious. It's a nice mix in there, a bunch of Greek olives. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. The oil they use, olive oil, everything mixed together, and that's some of the best I've ever had. Okay, so we're going to skip over the produce here. Um, I don't really feel it's even necessary to show it. I'm looking and just prices... $2.88 for this Fife's Pineapple kind of sets it off. I mean, you can get this for $2 at Walmart. Why can you get it for $2 at Walmart and not $2 here? $2.88 here. $6.32 for a thing of Driscoll strawberries during a week where they should be very cheap. Uh, at Meyer, they have two pounds of strawberries for $2.99. Now, that's a crazy good deal. But $6.32 here at Sam's Club, a place where you pay for a membership, yeah, that's that's a bit much. Okay, so I will say there's a little bit of a deal. Well, the regular price had dropped on the red seedless grapes. These were six twenty-eight for three pounds, which was insane. Now five dollars and twenty-six cents, and you can tell people are buying them. Again, sorry about the beeping sound, but I wanted to point out watermelons here six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Walmart has them for five ninety-eight. I don't get that, and pretty much everywhere else has them for five ninety-nine. They do have 16 count buns. Uh, we've been seeing hamburger buns and hot dog buns kind of go way up in price lately. Um, there should be some sales this week. Again, we're going to be going to Kroger and some other places. Uh, we went to Meyer yesterday, yesterday where we went over a lot of their sales. So if you miss that video, at the end of this one, it'll be up in the window. You can just click on it and watch it after this video. Also, I know I said it before, but don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you're liking our content here really helps our channel out a lot and helps spread the word. We cover these grocery prices every day so that we can help you uh, save money. Save money in a world where it's hard to save money on food these days. Okay, so first glance here, I wanna check out some of the hot dogs they have because I'm sure people will be wanting to grill out some hot dogs and save a little bit of money. However, if you wanna save money on the hot dogs here, you're gonna to have to do the scan and go price. So scan and go, it's you have to do it on a smartphone right you have to put in go into their uh into the app and then you'll have to scan your products online that are part of this scan and go price so 898 regular price 748 with the scan and go i don't know this week i feel like they should just have it all on sale for those who don't have smartphones uh ballpark franks here 698 for uh, let's see 24 count here and then they have the famous nathan's hot dogs 1198 everyday price but 998 on the scan and go price then they have some of the members mark here uh beef franks these are 998 uh you get let's see three pounds three pounds total 12 fourth of a pound franks here so those are jumbo um but yeah that's pretty much all the hot dogs they have here but stay tuned because here in the next day or two we're going to be going over some of this stuff and where you can save probably even more money on this stuff so if you end up cooking a little too much, which people have the tendency to do, especially on Memorial Day weekend, you might want to get some of these gallon freezer bags so that you can freeze what you don't use. 152 total gallon freezer bags here, $17.98. I mean, that's a great deal in itself. If you do the scan and go, you'll get it for even cheaper, $14.98. So have you ever walked into Sam's Club and just bought toilet paper? Let me know down in the comments. I do sometimes. 
It's hard to leave here without buying anything, but I am buying these. Okay, so I have made it back home from Sam's Club. We've decided that we're just going to bake the chicken. Um, so, so you think we're actually... So usually when we do this, we do shake and bake. So <laughs> I've never done barbecue chicken in we're the We're experimenting. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of seasoning here. Probably should have just put that in a bag and shook it up, this but is whatever. The, well, should we do that? It doesn't matter. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like it. Poultry magic, though. That's the stuff. Yeah. Okay, so adding the... I'm not really sure how much to add. That's enough. Is that enough? You don't want to, tons because you're putting the barbecue sauce on it. It'll probably wipe off. Yeah. I don't know. We've never done this before. Do it like shaking bacon. Pretty right? much. And back. Just make sure there's seasoning on all the pieces. So I do know that... Yeah, there is. <laughs> so I do know that you have to cook it at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. So, I know that. So get your oven preheated. Now I don't know if I'm gonna lay, uh, so we used a little bit of cooking spray here. I don't know if you need it, but that's what we did. Oh, that one don't have too much on there. We'll just spray sprinkle it. Yeah. So, a couple big ones here and a couple smaller ones. Actually, it looks pretty good. This poultry magic, this is what we use in our chicken and dumplings, and it is amazing. We can just leave that, because we're going to put barbecue sauce on it anyway. Mm. We're going to add a little extra. Maybe you should be doing this. <laughs> nope. You need to learn how to cook, too. Hey, I usually do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you say to do? We're going to just cook these first. Right. For a little while. 30 minutes. And then we'll put the barbecue sauce on when it still has like 10 or 15 minutes left Yeah. to go. I looked up a recipe. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I just don't know like if we should put the barbecue sauce on right now because I don't want it to like burn to the outside of the... I don't know. We've never done this, so I'm kind of like nervous that it's going to burn. So I figure if we cook the chicken first, then put the barbecue sauce on it and put it in there, it'll... Like, the chicken will be pretty much cooked, and then it'll just, like, glaze up the barbecue sauce, right? Sounds good to me. Okay, so the chicken is in at 350. The, the issue with this that we're kind of having is that we want to make sure that we don't cook the asparagus and the chicken together. The reason for that is because we don't want one to take heat from the other. We're real particular when it comes to chicken. That's why we really didn't grill it, because uh, we want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. So... I want to show you what we're going to do with this asparagus, which if you've been on the channel for a long time, you know what I'm about to do. Uh, you definitely want to make sure for this that you have some good Parmesan cheese. This is the Kirkland brand. Uh, we usually get the shaved private selection cheese from Kroger, but you're going to want to also have some sea salt and some black peppercorns here. Uh, we're going to mix this all together. And instead of using oil this time, I'm going to use a little bit of butter and just kind of mix it all in. So you take a little bit of butter and I did wash my hands. The asparagus is washed and you're going to just rub some of that butter in to the tips and all throughout. Guys, this is the way to do it. I know it looks messy, but... What is this to prevent it from sticking or something? No, it's just to add good flavor and we're going to add the salt and pepper and it helps uh, the salt and pepper stick to them. So. Oh. Okay, now we're going to add just a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. Not too much pepper. I would add more pepper, but Jess isn't a huge fan, but she'll eat a little Put bit. Put it on there. Just doesn't, just, no, I don't good. want huge chunks. I know, I know. It's good. Our okay. pepper grinder doesn't grind very well. I know, well. it kind of stinks. So the next thing we're going to do is just kind of, kind of move this along. I know it looks messy, but believe me, it's going to come out great. And... Have them kind of in a line there. It's not as much asparagus as we usually use, but um, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. It looks really good. And you definitely want to make sure that there's butter. So what the butter is going to do, and I know we didn't say before, but it's going to help crisp. It's going to help crisp up the vegetables. But mm -hmm. what I want to say, you want to make sure that you only cook it for 17 minutes. But we're going to try something new this time, which Jess recommended. I agree with her. 
We're going to let it cook for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to put the cheese on. Okay, so we're, we got to wait till our chicken's done because we need the chicken to have distributed heat. We were originally going to grill the chicken, so. Well, usually, so usually he'll make this and then he'll put the cheese on this right now and then put it in the oven. But... I feel like every time we do that, all the cheese just like burns to the edge of the foil and then you're ending up scraping it off. So I figured if we cook this for a while first and then sprinkle the cheese on the tops of it once it's cooked, then it'll actually melt to the asparagus and not to the foil. So we'll see. Okay, so the chicken is done here. Uh, after 30 minutes, we put the barbecue sauce on and... Uh, we actually let it cook for another 20 minutes. Uh, so total 50 minutes. Wanted to make sure that it was cooked all the way. Also, we put the asparagus in 10 minutes ago. Now what we're going to do is now we're going to sprinkle it with the cheese on top and put it back in for another 10 minutes. Just kind of get it all around there. want to have these kind of close together so that it doesn't really get in between. But that's okay if it does, because there will be a lot of extra cheese. Cheese makes everything better, right? I kind of like the way this spreads compared to the shaved cheese that we normally use. Uh, I usually don't put them on the tips because I don't want it the tips of the asparagus, which is the best part, uh, to stick to the pan. So we kind of just layer them on the edges here. And just kind of go down. You don't have to go all the way down, just enough where it's about like that okay here's the final product here got the cheese on the asparagus there tell you what sure smells good let's try it okay time for the taste test you ready yes you go first why <laughs> no way if it's if it's not good I'll know right away <laughs> Good? It's fine. I don't really particularly care for the outside because it's not crunchy at all and I, that's how I like my chicken. Yeah. So that part's not good but the chicken itself is fine. Yeah, chicken's good. We let it cook for a long time. I'm not a huge fan of drumsticks. Yeah. Like in this fashion. More of the uh, I like them to be really like kind of like a chicken wing. I want them to be crunchy on the outside and then soft on the inside, right? But it is what it is. It's definitely, definitely good and done. Try the asparagus, oh, it's hot. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, the asparagus is good. Yeah. Yeah, the chicken, I don't know. I kind of wish we would have done the shake and bake. Mm -hmm. We like it that way. It's kind of weird. Not that it's a weird taste. It's just weird because the skin's soft. I like it crispy. Yeah, it's you know? like slimy soft. Yeah. It's really gross. <laughs> it's Yeah, but the chicken, it's done. The chicken is fine. I know that. Yeah. But I, I don't want to eat snot when I'm eating my chicken. And that's what it tastes like. It's gross. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, no, I mean, it's good. I mean, be the honest. chicken is fine. I can just peel that stuff off. I can just yeah, peel can just the peel skin the off. off. I yeah. mean, it literally just peels right off because it's not cooked. Like, there's no there's no crunch to it. Mm -hmm. But that could just be the way we cooked it. We probably shouldn't have did it this way. But whatever. I mean, I'll eat the chicken because this part's fine. Like, yeah. the inside part's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely cooked all the way through. We let it cook for an hour. So, to give you an idea, and it never did crisp up. Maybe, I, I don't know, uh, let us know maybe some of your recipes for barbecue chicken. We probably should have put the broiler <laughs> on to let it crisp. Yeah. But, oh yeah, well. We were thinking near the end, but I don't know. It's okay. Not the greatest. Time to order a pizza. So, final thoughts. Don't make this again. <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah, uh, I I would uh, maybe look up some. It's fine. The funny thing is, is like it's not I don't great. I don't mind. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Either. Like it's... I'm not a huge chicken leg person in general, 
But, which is, I like them as wings, obviously. Yeah. But I think I prefer the shake and bake way because mm -hmm. it does get crispy and it gives it more flavor. I mean, the barbecue sauce gave it flavor. It's weird. And like I said, the chicken's fine. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird with the skin. The skin, like the yeah. snotty skin, is that what you said? Well, I don't slimy. Know. I mean, yeah it's, yeah, it's slimy and that's the only really way I can explain it. I and when you, off. yeah, I did too, but I got a little piece of it, and once you get that, then it kind of just like makes you not want to eat any more of it. So, yeah. um, but the asparagus is good. It's got like real good buttery flavor to it. Yeah. Um. Oh well. Well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So we're gonna finish eating here. I have a little clip that I'm gonna add in right here. Because uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about Sam's Club and some of the stuff we saw there. So, this is probably a bust. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, well. Wouldn't make chicken like this. I don't know. Probably would have been better on the grill. But. I don't know. I don't know. It, we'll eat it. I'll eat Okay, it. guys. Real quick. There's a couple things I wanted to talk about. Uh, about Sam's Club here before we finish the video here. I noticed a lot of gaping holes lot of empty shelves uh more than usual we've been getting comments over the last month or so on how your sam's clubs have been very low on products mostly meat didn't notice much of a, a meat shortage but there were things missing now i'm taking into consideration that it is memorial day week here um so there's a lot of stuff being bought up but a lot of this stuff is a little unusual i don't know if it has anything to do with employee shortages we're going to go to Sam's Club sometime next week to take a look at some more things. I didn't want to cram everything into this video, especially because we don't really know the situation yet until after they've replenished everything after the holiday. But one thing I wanted to know, let me know down in the comments, anything that you notice uh, that maybe your Sam's Club is missing so we can check on that the next time. Um, I wanted to check on it today, but I know I knew we were adding in our little meal here, so I didn't want this video to be super long, but I just wanted to sit here for a minute and talk about some of the things that we saw missing. A lot of snacks, a lot of like chips and stuff like that. I didn't go over any of that, a lot of the peanuts, stuff like that. Now, another thing too, kids are getting out of school, so that could have something to do with it too. But, we, you know, and as far as like the pastries and pies and stuff like that, a few days before Memorial Day, I've never seen Sam's Club that low on that kind of stuff before a holiday. I was I was shocked. I had to stop the camera for a minute, just kind of think about it. I, I, I almost scratched the whole uh, chicken dinner thing just so we could go over that stuff. But I'm going to wait till next week for that. Um, we're going to continue to grind it out and try and find the best deals for you guys Tomorrow, I'm going to Kroger. We're going to check out all of those sales. So make sure, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos. Uh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really does help uh, push our videos out to the masses. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Um, with all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.